You guys know the drill. It's Austin back again with Volt Life Proof Grooming. And today I'm actually rocking a little bit of Volt merch here. I've got the hat. And the reason I'm wearing this hat is because I need a haircut, obviously. But if you're anything like me, then you dread getting your haircut because it never seems to turn out the way you want it to. And that's actually what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Why does every brand new haircut look bad even if it doesn't. In fact, people may tell you that your new haircut looks great, it looks amazing, but for some reason you hate it. Why does that happen? Everyone seems to feel this way about a brand new haircut. And there's actually a few psychological and scientific reasons for this that we're gonna get into in today's video. So make sure you stick around. Okay, so I did a little bit of research, I did a little digging as to why this occurs, why any kind of change to your hair, even your beard, if you have a beard, or anything like that kind of makes you feel that way. You, you look at it in the mirror after it happens and you're like, no. The barber could have done everything you asked, it could have turned out exactly the way you originally wanted it when you showed them a reference picture or something like that, but for some reason you just hate the way it looks when it's brand new and it takes you a few days, about three or four days to get used to it. That's usually what happens to me. So the first reason I've got for you guys as to why new haircuts kind of feel that way, they just don't look right to you, is that new haircuts are almost too perfect. A talented barber knows exactly where the hair needs to be cut. And when they do that and they do it perfectly, your hair almost looks too perfect. You see, the hair hasn't had enough time to grow out and become a little bit ragged, a little bit more natural looking to fall correctly. And so when haircut is brand new and it's fresh, your hair almost looks like it's too done up. And this may cause it to look almost unnatural. And because your hair has actually had a long time to lay flat and look natural with itself, it's kind of trained to lay a certain way. So when you disrupt that by shortening the hair, by cutting it, the hair actually may lay a certain way or a different way that looks a bit unnatural, almost too perfect. So that is the first reason. The second reason kind of goes along with this, but it's a little bit different. And the second reason why new haircuts just don't look all that great or that you don't like them is because freshly cut hair doesn't lay well. And freshly cut hair actually will feel thicker. Now why is this? Like I was mentioning earlier, your hair, if it's had a long time to grow out, lays a certain way. It's the way the hair is used to laying. And when you cut that, your hair is going to behave a different way simply because it doesn't have the weight attached to it that causes it to fall a certain way. And it also causes your hair to feel thicker. This commonly goes along with the thought that when you shave, your hair grows back thicker, but that's actually not really true. What you're really noticing at that point is that there's no more of a taper at the end of your hair. When your hair grows out, the outside areas of your hair, the parts closer to the ends, are actually thinner and tapered to a point. And this causes your hair to actually feel a little bit thinner when it's longer like this. But when you freshly cut it and you're cutting it off at that stocky base, your hair will feel a bit thicker, which people don't really like because they're not really used to it. And that brings me to the final point I have for you guys as to why new haircuts always look bad to ourselves. And that's because we are the ones who see ourselves in a certain way. Humans are naturally averse to change. And this occurs for a few reasons. We don't like change because it usually comes along with the unknown. You see, our brain likes to compartmentalize things that are normal to us. This helps us create a kind of self identity that is really important for us in the way we view ourselves. The same exact thing occurs when you get a new tattoo as what happens when you get a fresh haircut. When you get a haircut, what you're doing is you're essentially changing the way you view yourself. You're kind of almost challenging the identity that you had before simply because you changed the way you look and your appearance. Psychologically speaking, whenever we make a change to ourselves or the way we appear or anything like that, what we're doing is we're having to force a shift in our identity. And in this case, it's just something as superficial as the way we look. But this actually occurs on a broader spectrum, even down to the hobbies you decide to pursue, your interests, your appearance, anything like that that causes a shift in your identity, you don't really like at first, but eventually and hopefully we will get used to the people that we are and we will begin to like the new haircut that you may not like at first. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I was able to answer some of your questions about this. Maybe this happens to you. It happens to pretty much everyone I've asked and there were some cool reasons behind it that I definitely didn't think about and maybe you haven't known either. So if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. We've got a ton more videos coming out for you guys. We've got awesome links to other videos as well as products and articles that you can read down in the description and we would love to hear from you guys in the comment section tell us if there's something we missed tell us which of these points you agree with tell us if you love every fresh haircut that you get and tell us what your secret is for that because maybe then i won't be afraid to get my haircut thank you guys so much for watching we will see you in the next video